a bit more about the creative process that you have then? I mean, how, how, how does that, how do you get the turnover on the idea? Yeah. Well, what we try to do is test lots of small things quickly. Everything that we do at Idea Lab is about rapid prototyping. How, can, we, can we figure a way to simplify the test to the essence and do it in a week instead of a month? Like, so give us an example. Oh, well, one time we were trying to um, see if people wanted to buy cars online. We were thinking of starting a company called Cars Direct. This is a long time ago, back in the 1990s. And you did start. We did start it. Yeah. It turned out to be a very successful company. But we wanted to see if people would buy a car online. So when the person who we hired to help us do that started out, they were looking at, well, I need to get a source of supply. I need to make relationships with the dealers. I need to build a car configurator. I said, no, you don't. Let's just put up a website. We're going to take the order if someone buys. We're going to go down to the Honda Auto Mall in Monrovia and buy the car and drop it off at someone's house. We don't care if we lose money on that car. I'll lose $4,000 buying the car and selling it at cost. We just want to see if someone will buy a car online. Will they give us a $1,000 deposit? So do the minimum minimum you have to to put up a website. So trying to figure out what do you have to do to test your thesis, stripping everything else out, testing that thesis, then building upon that. Once we found out, I remember we finally turned the website on, on a Thursday night, the next morning I came in, I said, well, what happened when we turned the website on? He said, we sold four cars last night. I said, hurry up and turn the site off, because we didn't want to sell any more cars at a $4,000. You're losing money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we learned what we needed to know. Yeah. People will take out their wallet, spend $1,000. This was back when people were even afraid to put their credit cards online, back in 1998, 1999. Well, people would put $1,000 down on a car, sight unseen, mm -hmm. just to avoid having to go to the showroom to deal with all that heartache. So that was the proof point that we needed. That was what we were trying to test. And that's what I try and urge all of our efforts, all of our companies, all of our CEOs. Figure out the essence of what you're trying to learn. Do that test inexpensively and quickly. That's how you can get more, more of those things done per year. Because it's, it's how, many of that, how much of that learning can you get per unit time that is the essence of the success of business today. And when did you hit on that as a formula? Well, I learned early on that sense and respond was a better philosophy than make and sell. Make and sell has been the philosophy in business for a long time, ever since the Industrial Revolution, where we learned that you could make more of something efficiently. So why don't we make 10,000 of them, and then we'll find a way to push them to people, even if they don't want them, through advertising or whatever. And I felt that fundamentally that was inefficient compared to sense and respond. Why don't you test something, figure it out, and then only make what people tell you they want? And it's just a way, way better way to run a business. And of course, the whole world is moving that way. As, a move, as more movement goes online, it's more efficient to test things online. Of course, online, you don't even have to make physical goods to test them, so it's way better. But I think there's a great opportunity for all business to improve by doing more sense and respond and less make and sell. And, I mean, as you say, I mean, the internet, particularly social media yeah, because yeah, of the yeah. feedback loops and all that that you're getting in there, I mean, it allows the sense and, and respond to happen more than ever before. I mean, what are the key rules that you've learned that work that other companies should bear in mind when they're trying to do that? Well, I don't know if I have a generalized rule, but the only one I can say generalized is test, 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 test. And you said, where did that come from? Um, when I was a uh, teenager, I was 15 years old, I got really interested in solar energy, and I started a mail order business selling some of my wares online back in the popular science magazine, Scientific American. And I would go to the library back then and read all the books on direct mail, and all they said over and over again was test, 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 test. Try everything. I used to try different fonts on the envelopes. I used to try different color stamps. I used to try calligraphy versus typewriting just to see what would get better response rates. I think that's what infused me in this whole sense and respond mentality. But that's just what companies need to do is find these small tests. Online you can do it very, very easily. Measure everything. Do A-B comparisons and just see what works better because it's, it's almost never what you expect. The thing that you think is going to work better almost never is the one. The thing that, that pulls actually better and moves people and, and causes people to buy or causes people to act is often very surprising. Why is that so often neglected, that, that approach to finding things yeah. out and deciding, pro designing products and marketing products? I think people would like to believe that it's analyzable and predictable. Mm -hmm. And I just think human nature or you can just sort of sit there and derive yeah, it from first yeah, principles yeah, or, or something. Or that you can use all your experience in marketing to know what's going to work right. Mm. And of course you can use all your experience in marketing to have an intuition to figure out some of the things you should test. But the way people actually behave sort of at the moment of cachectomy, you know, when they have to take their wallet out and make a decision. Or if not their wallet, the minute they have to click on...